Okay, I just got my ping pod in the mail and I'm going to do an unboxing. I've never really done an unboxing video before. Um, in fact, I don't really understand why people do unboxing, I guess just to see what comes with the product. But people seem to like them and I thought this might be a product that my viewers would be interested in. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing here. Uh, just to let you know in case you're unfamiliar, a ping pod is a uh, tablet PC that just uh, got funded. Um, that uh, uh, runs Android or Linux. It's designed to boot both. Uh, you may be familiar with some videos I've done in the past. Uh, just over a year ago, I got myself an Arcos tablet, which came with Android. Um, Arcos allows you to install a bootloader to dual boot, or actually I'm quad booting mine with different versions of Linux, which is great. I love companies that support Linux, uh, but uh, our the uh, Arcos tablet doesn't really support Linux, they just give you uh, the tools to multi-boot, where this tablet they actually have designed it to work with Linux, so you get a little bit better uh, hardware drivers uh, with it, uh, and uh, although I love my Arcos tablet, I, I try to support companies that support open source, uh, especially hardware companies, if we need more open s hardware that supports open source software, so I saw this project, and even though I didn't need another tablet, I decided to go ahead and get their small tablet just to support their project and hopefully encourage other people to do the same thing. Um, so let's go ahead, now that I've talked for a while, open this up. I did tear that open before I started the video so I wouldn't look at full trying to open it, which was good because it took me about a minute to get that box open. But I haven't looked at any of this yet. Little inventory sheet. Here is an SD card because uh, the way you can dual boot this thing is with an SD card. So I got a Linux uh, 8 gig uh, bootable SD card. Actually, I don't even know what type of Linux they're using. I know I saw videos of it running uh, KDE Plasmas. Um, but here is the box it comes in. Uh, and I know that, uh, I believe that the internally it already has Android on it, I believe. And then with the SD card you can boot Linux. Don't quote me on that. Um, I believe some models are like that. I've got the uh, PingPod 700, which is their 7-inch model. I kind of wish I went with the 8-inch model since I already have a 7-inch tablet, but I didn't feel like spending extra money. So there we go. It uh, just looks like a regular little tablet. Got your basic Android buttons here on the side for menu um, and, and back and that sort of stuff. Uh, protective plastic all over it here. And you can see a little sticker on the back. I believe there's eight gigs built in and it has a one gig of RAM, which I think is, I think my Arcos tablet is only like uh, uh, 256. I could be wrong on that, but uh, my Arcos tablet is nice. Just to give you a little comparison to it, it's got a 250 gig hard drive, which is great, but it's not solid state. And I got that since I knew I was going to be multi-booting Linux on there. I wanted a lot of room. I kind of wish I went with a solid state, the 4 gig model they had. Because um, the, the 250 gig one on my Arcos tablet can be kind of slow. And you can hear it spinning up. So I'm hoping to get a little better speed out of this since we're working off either an SD card or a solid state inside. Looks like there's a little camera up here. We got buttons on top for volume and power. Headphone jack on this side. Uh, HDMI, um, we got a USB port there, and then a uh, little plug, uh, spot for the power supply there. So that is the tablet itself. Let's look what's underneath here. Looks like it comes with an ODG cable. Is it ODG or OTG? Basically to convert the um, Wow, they seal this up good. There you go. Uh, the uh, mini USB to a standard USB. I should have realized it was coming with this. I actually bought one of these for like $2 on Amazon the other day, but now I've got an extra one. That's great. We got the power plug and we got a USB cable here. Also, it looks like it comes with headphones. That's nice. Kind of weird that they're white when they're, everything else is black, but who really cares? And we got a user's manual. Oh good, it's got pictures. Um, and well, that's that's the basic unboxing. Uh, I guess in the next video we'll uh, start it up. Well, actually, let's start it up now. Let's see if what's on there. I'll 
Let's see if it has power, if it needs to be plugged in. Press the power button. Not seeing any lights coming on. So it probably has to be charged first. So in my next video, we'll boot it up without the SD card in there. I think we'll boot into Android. Uh, and then we'll put the SD card in there and boot in that. So watch my next video for a little more on this. Once again, uh, I don't normally do unboxings, um, but I thought this was an interesting product and I would share. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Um, and I just hope that you have a great day.